All right, cupcakes, what's going on today? We're looking at this 32 centimeter hard anodized fry pan from Kmart or Anko. As you can see, I've had mine for a little bit. It uh, has a nice thick base on it. It also has a handle. Now this is normally 25 bucks. It's currently on special for 23 bucks. You might remember a little while back, we reviewed a, another fry pan that they had. Didn't have this handle on it. Also a little bit more curved. Now I haven't that thing for a year and the Teflon started to give in. Um, it bowed a fair bit. This one has a very, very subtle bow in the middle, but it's barely noticeable. Um, so that's turned into a camping fry pan. Now, I actually lost that. I was going to show it side by side. I don't know where I've put it. Who knows? I also don't know where this crap's falling from. So we'll show you this on its own. I've had this for about a year. I used the other one for about a year. I've used this one for about a year now. Now, I've taken it camping maybe four or five times, and we chuck it straight in the fire. We use uh, this handle to rest on another log, so it's kind of resting like this and it works really well. The other one would slip down a little bit. I've gone pretty hard on it. There's a few nicks and scratches, but I'm actually really impressed. Really, really impressed. It's oven safe. It, of course, for me, works with an induction cooker. It's got a little bit of wobble in the handle, but those two big bolts are otherwise pretty good. And yeah, I've given it a good beating, especially, you know, this Teflon, you're not supposed to heat it up and cool it and heat it and cool it really rapidly, but I do. Because it's 23 bucks, I just want to get on with it. So I put them through hell. This has probably had three years worth of life thrown at it so far, and I still use it nearly every night. I just cooked with it today, I've given it a clean down. I've even recorded this video once already, but my crappy phone uh, decided to stop recording. So this time I'm watching it closely. We're gonna see how this goes. There is of course the required alcohol for this test to make sure that uh, proper science is conducted. And we're gonna use this old thing from last time. This is a uh, heavenly, reliable, not unsteady and scary to use at all camping stove. Hasn't exploded yet, but it's had some moments. So, let's go on. I'm not gonna do the wet paper towel test this time because this does have that very thick base on it, but also that was more to show the heating area of the uh, induction cookers. This. Heat's fairly uniform, of course, slower at the outside, but fairly uniform nonetheless. First, we're gonna throw in some sugar. This will take the longest to melt. Put that over on this side. Meanwhile, I've gotta quickly prep something to sit this on afterwards to cool it down as quick as possible, which you're not supposed to, but you know, hate is gonna hate. I think even as far as life goes, I'm still using the $150 KitchenAid fry pan. That thing is still sitting on my stove right now. Still do omelets and a few other things in it. Still going good. I think though, this has bowed less and it has also lasted longer as far as the Teflon goes. I'll just get these little granules over here. Close enough, rinse this off. So, I actually use this new fry pan that you're seeing in front of you right now more than this one. Uh, you can possibly see some of the wear and tear. I've also not taken this one camping because, you know, $150. I'm not made of money. It is a lot more durable handle. I probably need to give it a bit of a better clean. But you can see the Teflon has started to give way. This thing is still damn near new. And they have quite a different tint to the Teflon. So I wonder if, you know, one's not quite Teflon, which I'd expect to be the Chivo. But, uh... I don't know. This thing, for omelettes though, you know, roll a eight or 10 inch omelette, god damn. Especially those French omelettes, perfect for it. This thing is just an all rounder, I think, for lack of a better term. It uh, kicks the competition's ass, as you'll see, I hope. Look, if it dies, 23 bucks, I don't really care. If it bows a bit, that's why if we lose it at the campfire, I'll get another one. So far, so good. And you can even hang it from that end up on a tree and doesn't have a problem with it. That's gonna, yeah, it's just starting to melt down, so also chuck a bit of cheese in over on that side. To make sure our science levels are up to scratch.
I've actually been a tad surprised. I buy a lot of cheap Kmart crap, Anko branded. Shouldn't call it crap, because that's half the point here is, whoops, there's a mistake. Oh, there's some heat over there. Uh, most of the Anko stuff I've bought, I'm really impressed with the quality. So this fry pan, for example, a knife I bought recent, recently, a Sentoku knife that I showed you all. Um, crack an egg in there. Oh no, that was not great, but good enough. Well, we woefully overcooked this egg. Um, and what else have I got? Even that induction cooker did pretty good. I've got a bench mixer. I can't remember if I've showed it off or not yet. It's done really well. You know, it, it competes with some of the big boy stuff. Uh, that ironing board didn't. I put this ironing board down and it kind of had a bit of a wobble to it. Not just a flex. Oh, the bastard thing did it again and I caught it this time. The phone too hot. Now it is a sweltering uh, 33, 32 degrees. I think it peaked at 36 or 37 degrees Celsius today. Don't know what that is in freedom units. Use an online service to find out. As I was saying, yeah, this ironing board didn't just flex, it actually tilted, you know, whichever you could have that leg down or that leg down, but not both at the same time. So this is just about done as far as uh, cooling down goes. Oh, cooking goes. That egg's actually not looking half bad. I'm gonna improve this a little bit because I realised that the fry pan might not actually touch the water. This also isn't the safest idea. I wouldn't recommend it for everyone. This is a, a bit of a idiot science way of doing it, for lack of a better term. This phone does have... Oh, this, no. This phone does have binaural audio, so you might hear me walking from side to side if you're listening to this in stereo. I mean, this camera has one or mics, that's what I meant. Uh, let's just get some more water in there. Use this tub again. Thing did it again. Uh, it is hot here. I'm gonna have to count for this some other way going forward. What I've done for now is I've stuck an ice pack up here on top of the camera and I've turned off the swipe down options for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and all of that. So it should reduce the heat a bit. Now, let's uh, give this some fresh thermal mass to displace into. Not the smartest option. Needs a little bit more, more water. Uh, not smart because it's producing a lot of steam very quickly, but it does work. It does also destroy the fry pan a little bit. This is what's gonna cause it to warp. This is what's going to cause the uh, layer of Teflon to separate. Pardon me. Separate? Yeah, close enough. But it gives us our science. Yep, making a mess. But it's alright, it's cooling it down, is it? Nearly touchable. And we have to make sure our science quality is up to scratch, of course. <laughs> That's leaking everywhere. Oh, this will be fun afterwards. At least this isn't sugary water this time like it was the first take I did. Whilst it's here, we can have a look. This egg didn't stick in the slightest. It's a bit weird. I don't know if you've ever cooked egg without oil, but uh, it was pretty plasticky. That being said, that is a nice over easy yolk. So I'm just gonna uh, squeeze this in here. You don't need to be there. Can go that side down. Not even over easy, is it? It's sunny side up, but it's sunny side up without the uh, snotty crap that you get, the uncooked egg white. How'd this cheese go? Oh yeah, all right. That egg sandwich is getting a cheese biscuit too. So this is performing really good. I think that's the start of my dinner shortly. If you wanna have a nice close up look of how well the fry pan did. Pretty bloody good. Oh, that cheese crunch. All right, that's the start of my dinner. I'll get some snags into it afterwards. This has cooled down enough. Look at me go, hell of a mess. Get rid of this water. That's a light of me problem. This is an electric, so there is no significant hazard here. Let's see how this went. Mm. As always, sugar sticks good. 
In fact, that can scoot off. Oh, sugar st sticks real good, doesn't it? Ah, oh, but see, that's what I wanted to know. I don't know if you saw the other one and how it came off. The little bits of crap. This just, when it's off, it's off. That was done, that is, mmm. Delicious burnt sugar molasses. 23 bucks, and Co came out, whatever it is. Buy it, this is bloody impressive. This, nothing good with the plate. Here, that's my dessert, tastes like burnt. I'm quite impressed. It's, uh, after it survived that first camping trip, we knew it had to be better quality than it should be. Clean, close enough, and it is. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Do not forget to like and subscribe. I will never make money from this. No chance in hell. I'll probably give up before then anyway. I only do projects till about 80% before I'm bored. This one's still early days. But, uh, but do it anyway, because the stats are like crack. And uh, catch you next time.